couldn't make it down. Their regular announcer couldn't be here this evening. I hope I held up the end of the bargain on that one for you. It was a lot to learn in a couple of days, and uh, we tried, but I do uh, I miss them. They have a lot of cars the last time they were here. Uh, huge thank you to Jeff Ziglitz for emailing me down a bunch of information on these guys. As I said, Tom Coughlin here with us at the Speedway tonight, helping out as well. Great to see these guys. I'm telling you, for us uh, old folks, that's a, tr a trip down memory lane you'll never forget. you got to love it. Next out onto the racing service, this will be the Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprints. 25 laps will be the distance. $2,000 to win on the line for the wing sprinters here tonight at the Can-Am Speedway. Cars continue to get pushed off over in a turn number three and four. They'll take a couple of laps to get a little bit of heat in the motors here before we turn them loose for their 25 lap A main here at Can Am. Cars will get ready to start filing in behind the Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprint pace truck here tonight. We'll get them lined up. We'll get you ready for their 25 lap A main here tonight at the KM Speedway Showdown in September, part number two, our final night of racing for the 2021 racing season here at KM. Again, I want to thank all you great race fans for joining us here at the Speedway and all you folks at home watching on DirtTrackDigest.tv. Thank you for tuning in to Can-Am Speedway Showdown in September. Our 50-50 group still making their way around the Speedway. It's over... The total purse right now is over $2,500. That means it's like $1,250 to take home. It's still got a lot of time to get in on this. They will draw it with the... 600 horsepower, 600 to Feature winner of our sportsman race here tonight, the John Burr Memorial. We'll draw that winner out. So here we go. The cars lined up, getting ready for their A main. Your starting lineup for the Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprints presented by Napa Auto Parts. The 1 HD of Corey Sparks out of Edinburgh, New York. We'll start inside row number one, outside out of South Glen Falls. That is Floyd Billington in the 69K. Matt Tanner, the number 90 out of Steventown, the New York, will start inside row number two. Outside him, that'll be Dylan Swernick out of Port Leiden in the number 7C. The 9 of Josh Panizak out of Rotterdam will start inside row number three. Outside him, that'll be No Panic, Davey Frantic out of Wontag, New York in the 28F. The Jason Barney driven number 87 out of Brewerton will start inside row number four. On the outside, that'll be Jake Kirkland in the 5K out of Geneva. Out of Ontario, New York, the number 45, the Cobra Chuck Heaving. He'll go inside row number five. And on the outside, that'll be Pauly Cola Giovanni, the number 10C. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Let's see you wave to them. One of the greatest sights in motorsports, the Sprint Car 4 Wide Salute. The number six of, or excuse me, six row, the double zero Danny Varen out of Fonda, New York will start on the inside. Outside him, that will be Chad Miller out of Amsterdam, driver the number 88C. The Tyler Cartier, number 23 out of Mexico, New York starts inside row number seven. On the high side, that will be Sean Donath out of South Onondaga, New York, driver of the number 53. The 91 of Scott Holcomb out of Granby, Connecticut, and the 10H of Kelly Heaving will make up row number eight. Row number nine, that'll be Chase Moran in the number 41, and Jeff Cook in the number 10. Tyler Trump's number 36, Larry or Lacey Hansen's number 33 are in row number 10. Row number 11, Keith Branham out of Syracuse, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, that last time was a test run. What do you say? Stand up, Can-Am race fans. Get off your seat. Get on your feet. The Empire Super Sprints salute you here at Can-Am, the great race fans in the North Country, as they get ready to turn them loose. 25 laps will be the distance. The Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprints, brought to you by Napa Auto Parts.
The last four times the Empire Super Sprints have visited the Can-Am Speedway, Pauli Cola Giovanni has been the guy to plant the car in victory lane. We'll have to see how that shakes out. He's going to have to come from deep in the field if he's going to do it here tonight. He's starting outside row number five, tenth starting position in the number 10C. White flag being displayed next time around. We are going to turn loose 600 horsepowers of winged madness here at the Can-Am Speedway, their second trip in of the year. Down into turn number one and two. What a beautiful sight when these wing cars get out here. Glad to have the Lucas Oil Empire Series joining us once again here at Can-Am Speedway. Pace truck's going to clear the field over on the back stretch. Chalk line over in turn number four is where they will start for their A main here this evening. 21 cars ready to take to the field. Down to turn number three and four. Mike LeClaire will look him over as they inch toward the starting line. Green flag is in the air. Down to turn number one and two. They will go for the very first time. One car got off the top side. That was Corey Sparks hung it out to the outside of the speedway. They'll work down into turn number three and four out in front of the field. Score lap number one. That'll be the number 90 of Matt Tanner showing the way down to turn number one and two. Watching this battle bid pack, there's Cole, Levani, Cole Giovanni in the number 10 machine. He'll work right in the middle of the speedway. There's three cars behind him as they head down to the turn number one and two. Now they'll head down the back stretch to turn number three and four. Keep an eye on the middle of the field. That is the 28 of Davey Brandon trying to move towards the front. Tyler Garnier chasing him off into turn number two. Danny Barron in a battle right now as they work off turn number two down the back stretch. Barron was side by side for a second. And the turn number three and four got that straight back around. Then they come up to report. Barron down to the bottom of the racetrack to the outside, slipping by once again into that number 28 machine. That was Davy Frantic. Frantic got by on the top side as they'll exit turn number two. Brandon takes the spot away. There's Cola Giovanni to the top side of the racetrack. The heaving uh, number 45 chases him. The Cobra trying to close that gap. They work off turn number two down the back stretch. Wind up going to stay the same. Right now it is Matt Tanner out in front of the field. Corey Sparks chasing that battle. Jason Barney, third. Dylan Swernock going to hold on to the number four spot. Followed by Davey Frantic and Danny Barrett. Battle shaping up right here. There's Jason Barney. He'll go down to the inside of the Corey Sparks number one HD. Up to number two. Barney's going to slide up, going to take the spot away. He'll drive to the number two spot as they go to turn number three. Barney out of Brewerton, New York, former modified star. Works down in the front stretch, taking that position away. Dylan Swearer to number seven Z. Up the racetrack right now. He's got company. Here comes the number double zero, Danny Barron, the Dover break ride. Out of turn number two, down the back stretch. Barron trying to close that gap. Swernick goes about a half a groove higher. Barron right down to the bottom of the racetrack. Squares it off to the inside. Swernick gets a good run off the top side of turn number four as they come down and run. Barron trying to take the spot away. The 53, Sean Donnett battling off the Cobra. 45, Chuck Heaving off turn number two. Down the back stretch. Panizek is slow. As we got one car around turn number four. And caution flag is going to come out onto the speedway very quickly. The number 13 of Keith Granham, Granholm out of Syracuse, New York, got spun around in a knot over here in that nice looking number 13. He'll roll to a stop bottom of the speedway. Turn number four, caution flag waving. Seven laps complete here. Seven laps in Lucas Oil. Empire Super Sprint A main. And this is going to tighten up the field. Matt Tanner had about a 1.75 second lead over Jason Barney before that caution flag came out. Barney started back in spot number four. He's picked, excuse me, inside row number four. He started in the seventh starting position. So Jason Barney, in a hurry, has worked his way towards the front of the field. Well, 
we're waiting to see if they can get the number 13 fired back up. Keith Granholm out of Syracuse. They're looking at the front end of that car. There may be more damage than it looked like at first on the Granholm ride as the caution remains out on the speedway. Well, Matt Tanner started inside row number two. He easily jumped out to the early lead, took the field down the back stretch. He t he's led since lap number one. The guy that's been on the move, we said Jason Barney, started back in spot number seven in the 87. He's driven all the way up into the number two position. Corey Sparks holding on to the third spot, started on the hammer here tonight, giving up a couple of spots to the field. Davey Frannick, another one in the number 28F. Frannick started in the sixth starting spot. He's picked up a couple of positions here. Dylan Swernick has dropped back to one position. Danny Varen also picked up a couple of spots here. Varen started in the 11th starting position here. He's up to number six in the double zero. Floyd Bennington started up front in Billington, I should say, in the 69K. He's dropped back a couple of positions. Sean Donath has picked up one or two spots along the way. Chuck Heaving, driver of the number 45, started inside row number five. So he started back in that ninth position, and right now Heaving holds on to the number nine position as we remain under caution. Field continuing to circulate under caution here. The Can-Am Speedway. You've got to thank all the great people from O.D. Green Lumber and Hardware for sponsoring our racing action here this evening. O.D. Green with stores in Adams on Route 11, right across from the golf course, and in Sackets Harbor on Route 3. You can give them a call in Adams at 232-4800 or the Sackett store at 646-2222. O.D. Green Lumber and Hardware with two great locations to serve you for all your building and lumber needs. Like I said, find them right there on Route 11 in Adams. Great store down there. They actually do a shopping there myself. They've uh, very friendly people all ready to help you out. The Sackett store right down there just past the where the Y up, where you turn off to go into Saggots, just stay on Route 3. You'll be right there on your right-hand side. That's Odie Green, Lumber and Hardware. Glad to have them helping out here tonight with our racing action at the can -Am Speedway, sponsoring night two of the showdown in September. So tough break on the front of the Keith Granholm, number 13, as he is on the hook headed back towards the pit area. Early going here for the Lucas Oil Empire Super Sprints tonight. Their A main brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Glad to have them joining us here for the second time in the 2021 racing season. Everybody lined up right back where they belong. White flag will be displayed to the field as they come off turn number four. We get ready to go back to green. So track safety lights going off, the field uh, doubled up two by two by two by all the way to the back of the field as we get ready to go back to green flag racing action with the Empire Super Sprints brought to you by Lucas Oil and Napa Auto Parts. Down into turn number three and four, keep an eye on that front row. Matt Tanner inside as we get ready to go back to green. Jason Barney was back 1.7 seconds before catching up to him on this yellow. So we'll have to see how this plays out off turn number four. Green flag is in the air.
couple of cars going to get together over in turn number two. And everybody's able to keep going except one. We do have one car stopped middle of the speedway. That is Josh Panizak. Panizak got turned around in the middle of that. Luckily, everybody was able to skate by with minimal damage, I believe. Nobody took any really hard hits. We'll have to keep an eye on the Panizak ride. There may be issues on that as Panizak went around in a circle right in the middle of the field. He's going to end up to the outside of turn number two. Panizak out of Rotterdam, New York. Going to get a look at the replay here on DirtTrackDigest.tv, courtesy of Pam Frazier. And that started way ahead of where Panizak's going to come into it. It looked like Sean Donath and the double zero Danny Varon got together. They spun around. Everybody else started to scatter. And Panizak got caught up in that, got shoved up the hill. And uh, no problem of his own, but Panizak's going to end up getting that pushed back around out onto the speedway. So again, I bragged about him earlier. I said Mike Frazier was the best in the business, and once again, he caught it. Here we have an accident in the middle of the field, and my buddy Mike Frazier got it all on camera once again. It's been a joy to work with Mike Frazier and Pam Frazier all year here at the Candium Speedway. They're two of the best that they've got to offer with DirtTrackDigest.tv, and I'm glad they called Can-Am Speedway home this summer with us and uh, hope they have a great offseason. Of course, like I said, they've still got a lot of work to do here in the late coming of the season, but I hope they have a great offseason, a great winter. And uh, with any luck, they'll be right back here at Can-Am next year to give you some great racing action from the Can-Am Speedway. <coughs> Single file restart. You see this cone down on the front stretch. If you're going to pass, you have to go to the outside. You can't pass it until you get to this cone. Off turn number four. So green flag is in the air one more time. Back to green. They will go. A great start. Matt Tanner got a beautiful restart. He'll bring him down to the front stretch. Jason Martin going to jump up to the number two spot. The guy that got a good start here was Sean Donath. Donath improves a couple spots now as he'll go to the outside of the speedway off turn number two. Down the back stretch. He'll get outside of Davey Frantic. Frantic's going to come right back to the bottom of the racetrack. There goes Sean Donath. He'll go to the outside. Now he's at this site on the number one of Corey Sparks. They come off turn number four down the front stretch. Sparks trying to hold him off over in turn number two. Donna's going to go one through higher. Off turn number two. Donna to the outside of the Sparks. Harley Davidson number one. They'll go side by side. Down into turn number three and four. Sean Donna rips it to the outside. Corey Sparks squares it off to the bottom. Drag race down the front stretch. Dead heat at the line. They were dead even at the start finish line here at Can Am. Now they go off turn number two. Down the back. They switch lanes off turn number two. Donna to the bottom. As Sparks went up the hill, now Sparks squares it off. He'll look underneath the Sean, Sean down at number 53, but Donna's going to take the spot away as they go down to turn number one and two. It'll be Donna up to number three spot. Corey Sparks back to board. Danny Barron trying to close in on these guys as your leader's all the way down into turn at number three and four. There's a look at Matt Tanner off turn number four down the front stretch. Continuing to show the way, Jason Barney knocking on the back door. They work off turn number two. Barney that last time by, 26 one second back from your leader as they go down into turn number three and four. Here's a battle down the back, just Paulie Cola Giovanni. Now getting up into the top six cars as Cola Giovanni holds on to spot number six as we come to the cross flags halfway home. And he sets his sights on the double zero of Danny Barrett. There's that lead battle back up in front of the field as a Tanner continues to work off turn number four. Jason Barney lets it go to the top side of the racetrack, trying to use every bit of it to the speedway as he tries to close the gap as they work on the slower car. That is the 13. Or excuse me, the five to go back out onto the speedway. Sean Donnan up into that top. 
three spot right now, and there's your first three cars coming down the front stretch. Barney trying to close that gap on the 90 of Matt Tanner, and now Sean Donovan has got to within about eight car lengths of that battle off turn number two. Cola Giovanni, the number 10, holding on to the six spot. Danny Viren up to the number four spot, the five spot, excuse me. Now he sets his sights on spot number four. He'll still get underneath the Tanner. Or excuse me, get up to Corey Sparks in number one. Danny Bear is going to take that spot. He's going to race his way up into spot number four. Sparks back to the number five position. Cola Giovanni right there with him chasing as they come off turn number four down the front stretch. This time we'll keep an eye on that battle. There's that lead fight over in turn number two as Matt Tanner continues to stretch the advantage out in front of the Jason Barney, number 87. Off turn number two, this battle will continue. Paul Ecola Giovanni up to the number five position, now sets his sight towards the back of the Danny Barrett double zero, but Barron able to pull away down the front stretch. They'll head off turn number two. There is your leader, Matt Tanner, down the back stretch, continuing to stretch this lead over the Jason Barney driven number 87. Barney out of Brewers and trying to reel in Tanner as they come down the front stretch. Here comes the number 53 of Sean Donnett as your first three cars. Work into turn number one and two. There's the distance from second back to third as Sean Donnett tries to close that gap. Donnett's doing everything he can to reel in the 87 of Jason Barney. He begins to work back there as we score. Lap number 20 at the line, just five more laps to go. Into turn at number two, down the back stretch. They will head Jason Barney, continuing to hold on to spot number two. Your leader right now, Matt Tanner, Jason Barney, second, Sean Don and third, Danny Barron, holding on to the number four spot as they come to the line. Paul E. Cole, Giovanni, fifth, Corey Sparks, the sixth. Davey Frannick holding on to spot number seven. He's followed by Dylan Swerdek, Jake Carklin, Chuck Heaving, Kelly Heaving, Chad Miller, Jeff Cook up to 13th, Chase Moran holding on to spot number 14, followed by Tyler Trump and uh, Lacey Hansen and Keith Brenholm. Your leader's midway down the backstretch, and he has lap traffic coming right into his lap. There's that battle again for the number Four position is Cola Giovanni has closed in on the double or zero of Bobby Barron. Parallel flags are up this time down the front stretch. Off turn number two, down the back stretch. There's that battle for the number two spot. Jason Barney goes to the outside as the white flag gets ready to come out. Sean Donnath able to drive underneath. Donnath is going to take over spot number two. Now here goes Cola Giovanni to the outside. Holy Cola Giovanni has caught the 87 of the Jason Barney. He's going to battle for spot number four. Danny Perrin right there with him. Checkered flag is coming out off turn number four. Matt Tanner is going to score the win. Sean down to second. Third spot is going to go to Holy Cola Giovanni. He'll be followed by the number 87 of Jason Barney. Davey Brannick's going to come home in the number five position. Corey Sparks will be sixth. Seventh is going to go to Danny Barrett. He'll be followed by the number eight of Dylan Swerdek and Jake Carklin.